Hi and welcome to Getting Started with Photo Magico 5. In this video, I want to show you how to get from zero to sharing your slideshow on YouTube in a couple of minutes. And I will also show you something that is brand new in Photo Magico 5. So let's jump right in. The first thing that we do is we launch Photo Magico. And all that we have to, well, decide is what stage size do we need? Since our photos are high resolution anyway, I will go for 4K, of course. And here we are. And you already see something that is brand new in Photomagico 5 on the right hand side. It's the snippets. So we have different snippets. We have snippets for intros. We have titles like a lower third or, well, an intro title as well. We have split screens that make it super easy for you to do, for example, side by side images. We also have complete stories that make it easier for you to tell the story of your latest travel, for example. We have snippets with music in them and we have credits for the very end. So let's use them right now. Let's go to intros and I will choose this simple intro as the beginning of my slideshow. This already adds three slides. Now let's go to stories and choose the exposition. This adds another five slides. And for the very end, I will add some rolling credits. And since I'm so proud I made this with Photo Magico, I will add the Made with Photo Magico snippet as well. So now let's take a look how this feels. So, it tells my name. It takes that from the computer itself. It tells everyone the title of my slideshow. And now we're going to get started with the actual content. In this case, the exposition shows us a map and it will show us a couple of images that I can later replace with my own. And if we jump ahead at the very end, it will roll the credits And at the very end, it will show that this was made with Photo Magico. So now we have a rough outline and all that has to be done now is to fill it with our own content. So first start with the location. It wasn't Paris, it was Peru. And let's dig into my images. Uh, uh, I need a different map. So where is Peru? Somewhere down here. Okay, so, and now for the photos themselves. I need a wide shot of the location. So for example, this is a pretty wide shot. So now, some medium shots. For example, the town we were in. Even more shots of the town. And the last shot is gonna be this fountain in the town square center. So now, I filled everything with my own photos, so let's take a look how it looks now. So we already know the intro, it says my name, it says the title of my slideshow, and now let's take a look at the content that I just dropped in. So we see the globe, the photo is animating, and Peru is going to show up. So let's skip ahead. Now we have the photo of the mountain, the white shot. We have now the shot from the town. The next one is another shot of the town, another angle of the same building. And as you can see, all I did here was choosing the photos that I want to show. The timing and everything else was predefined by the snippet that we were using. Like this, it is super easy to go from have nothing to a finished slideshow in a couple of minutes. Now we have the rolling credits and at the very end we show off that this was made with Photo Magico. So let's stop right here and there are two more things we have to do. A. We need to save. So let's save the slideshow. Let's call it Peru. We're saving the slideshow and now we're gonna share it to YouTube. So what we do for that is we click the sharing menu and select YouTube. 
And now all we have to do here is continue, tell Photomagic where to save the movie file, and in the very end, it is gonna upload everything to YouTube and you can share it from there. So this is how you get from zero to your finished slideshow on YouTube in a matter of minutes. So try it yourself and have fun using Photomagico 5.